Talk about Al Capone as the most famous example of gangsters from the 20s. First of all, uh, to give you some idea why he was admired uh, by many people, at least seen as a symbol. First of all, he was a self-made man. Americans like self-made men, right? Uh, we respect them. We admire them. We're now self-made women. Um, he rose from obscurity, poverty, to tremendous wealth, tremendous power, and, of course, tremendous fame. Uh, Capone was born in an immigrant slum in Brooklyn. He then moved to, uh, to, to Italian immigrant parents. Uh, he dropped out of school to help his family, went to work, not illegally at first. Uh, in the early 20s, he moved to Chicago uh, and rose through the ranks of the mob fairly quickly because of his courage, his intelligence, and his skill, and also his willingness to kill anybody who stood in his way. He organized the rackets in Chicago, and he made them efficient. Um, he was involved not just in alcohol, but also in gambling, in prostitution, and also in extortion for businessmen who didn't uh, follow his uh, orders. Um, by 1925, when he was only 26 years old, he headed a business that generated $60 million annually, which is equivalent to, oh, about uh, $400 $500 million today. His payroll included no less than 1,000 gunmen who killed at least 250 competitors of his in Chicago, including such colorful characters with great names like Dean O'Banion, Jaime Weiss, and Bugs Moran. Irish and Jewish competitors. And he was a complicated fellow. He was a family man, several children, faithful to his wife, at least uh, that was what most people heard and believed. He hosted annual block parties where he lived in Chicago. He was a consummate consumer. He uh, wore 11 carat diamond rings. He liked to buy and, and consume rich wine and excellent food, not just excellent Italian food excellent French food as well. And he also seemed like a, a good man who gave back to the community, as we would say now. Um, he was a philanthropist. During the uh, beginning of the Great Depression, when he was still out of jail, uh, 1930, 1931, when prohibition was still the law, he was making lots of money, he gave millions of dollars to soup kitchens in Chicago. Here are the, some of the men uh, eating, unemployed men, uh, who were eating uh, on his dime or his quarter. Um, and also, he became, uh, obviously, a celebrity. Here's uh, Al Capone with one of his sons. Um, there's a, I think it's Chicago White Sox, uh, the South Side Chicago baseball team, as some of you probably know, uh, President Obama's favorite team, um, uh, signing an autograph for Al Capone. Uh, I'm not, I don't know, my, my baseball knowledge is not good enough to know who this player is. Anybody know who that player is? Uh, I'll have to identify him later on. Um, and this, of course, the fact that Chicago Tribune took a photo of this, and it was on the sports page, right in the top of the sports page uh, in the, in the mid-1920s, shows that Al Capone was, you know, not a good citizen exactly, but uh, nevertheless uh, one, a celebrated one. Uh, and, and he made, uh, he put Chicago on the map in more ways than one. <laughs> 